<laughs> they need some AoE damage. No, they just go Visage. I mean, this is just classic yeah. Tundra, but... Though, so... It is nonetheless a decent chunk of harass on to the Visage. Sneaking's doing a really good job, but also beating onto Crystalis, and this should be our first blood. Good lane. And it's going to be able to get aggressive onto Armel pre-level 6. We'll force some TPs in. Very nice use of the Hurricane from AUI. Is that Armel? They might even be able to go for Yarmich next as well, but the Blinding Light already used AUI. But at uh, too fast of a rate. And, you know, Secret do kind of have a bit more of a greedy lineup where their playmaking Armel's is... Armel's still level 6. Yeah, I mean, he's going to die again. Tries to time it perfectly to get rid of some of the proof damage. Nine Nine is minutes. also going to die as well. Okay, out of nowhere. We're going to start to bring more heroes to the mid lane to potentially get this objective. I thought it was going to be the Atos on Meepo. Um, did just hit level 10. Maybe that's something they were waiting for is AUI. I'm also going to be able to zip over the top. Should be able to get the kill nonetheless with FBZ nearby. But Tundra also can bring some of the resources down to take the fight. The double control coming through from the earth bind, but they're gonna be lacking some of the damage. <laughs> Snaking just spins through. It is kind of the core item build that we often see on the, the Meepos as well, regardless of kind of the position. Uh Atos Axe Blink is still the, okay. the absolute go-to that they're looking to try and achieve as uh, well, poor Puppy looks like he's just going to be the target of a couple Ooh, of spots I'm all over. Instantatos, that's not the fight that Armel wants to show up to. Now, Crystalis, what's going to stop them from diving on a tier 2 tower? He can use the Omni Slash, but that will just buy it. A couple of seconds of time, and they'll still kill him nonetheless. There's a dive from Tundra. Pays off perfectly. Map, though, they've got very good wards set up, so... We'll be well aware of Secret starting to move on over to defend the tower, but it's going to go down regardless, and Tundra... They actually feel strong enough to take the fire. They're going to try and poke down Timber, who is pretty taken with the help of the Octarine. So maybe they'll turn to AUI instead as yep, nine. He's also teeping out as well. So Tundra, they see all the heroes up top from Secret, and they want nothing to do with a further fright. They'll just cut them. Radiant are scanning. Puppy's just inching closer to that first black hole of the game. Run into 33. Who's going to be... And yeah, if you don't, he's going to be able to steal some of the spells and turn it back around. It's now with Nine showing up. They've got the control of the Storm Spirit and they've got the damage as well. The Skeeter is pretty close to the T2 Tower, so the TP should come in fast enough to protect him. We see how much damage they're really able to do onto FBZ, though. I mean, it's the power of the Midnight Pulse being stolen, right? Up against the, uh, the Timber Saw. Doesn't matter if you go into any sort of BKBs, it's still going to pierce through all that magic damage. Armel's gonna zip in. I'll definitely kill Yarmich. No, Armel's gonna be cautious because he's out of mana and nine instantly pounces over the top with the blink. Pronounced on. But the cores, in terms of levels, they're even ish, you know? Like Armel's fallen a little bit behind off the back of a few Ooh. of those. Off the back of the Eidolons, off the pushing waves in with Midnight Pulse and Faith Pulse. So you can end up falling, not behind, but, you know, even with such a dominant Crystals? lead as this, you should maybe. Be okay. TP, or it's on cooldown. I'm also gonna try and maybe buy a little bit of time. Puppy's wraparound is interesting. This angle they're gonna try and take, but Look as soon the as they get a couple of stuns out, this fight's getting more awkward. Nine's got the Aegis as well, so you need to target everyone else but the Meepo. But it's just taking them too long to be able to land some of their spells. There's 33 in some danger. It's gonna be protected thanks to the song from Skeeter. Sleeping up secret and giving them an opportunity to reevaluate how they want to take the team fight and perfectly sets up for Nine's Earth, but it even clips onto FBZ as well as Tundra. They are on another one in this game one. <laughs> uh, Tundra did when they won TI, right? They said, you can throw all the damage at us you want. We've got Wraith Pack, we've got Pipe, we've got Reeves, we've got Drums, we've got everything to be able to withstand all of that. The status of this game. It'll be a high ground push and a very difficult defense from Secret. Mm -hmm. Anyone that gets going on as like single target, is like, I'm talking nine here. I just saw about 50 million skeletons that they were looking to play around with, but they get wiped out pretty quickly. I wonder if they just layer the chakra on top of these uh, familiars to try and take them out and slow down the push a little bit. Able to get away? They might just jump Armel. They could probably go past the Timur. Yeah, they're gonna do just that Arm. Um. 
Oh, I don't know if you can position there with oh, the heroes they currently again. have, and now they're going to go for FBZ. Is able to get the chain back to safety, almost dies to the impetus. They can continue the hunt. Look at the constant round of stuns and control. So about to die. Yeah, but Armour had to buy back for that, though. So Tundra, they... I don't even know if they care. You'll probably reset. 33 doesn't even want to. Santa Fimo is in, pops the glyph. Mel, he's just hanging around. He doesn't have full mana to be able to make a full on zip play with. Looks like they're going to need to. Like, Rubik being dead means that this Timbersaur is a lot stronger than it previously was with all those charge drops. Oh, again. He is. Yamich, another round of the instare. You have to it's all up to off. FBZ. It's a decent chunk of damage, but there's the Mega Meepo instantly. All of a sudden, he's got more than enough health to play with. Yeah. He's net worth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Naga Illusions just running the supports. They're going to take an interesting angle to the fight, but... It, what, what just happened? Buffy. He's going to try and buy back. Armo wants to try and create some chaos as well. That's a triple familiar stun. Instant die back on a puppy. Just, just get out. Yeah, get right. out of this game. Try and go into game two with a different strategy because Tundra just wiped the floor. There was almost never even a hope of secret being able to take this game with how incredibly dominant Tundra looked. Everything that they did was perfect that game. Like this.